Question 15 says a right angle triangle has an area of 96 meters square. The base of the triangle is 12 meters. What is the length of the longest side? Now, in order to solve this, um, you need to draw this right angle triangle. Now, this is the right angle triangle. It says the base is uh, 12 meters. And um, area, it's um, 96 meters square. And you know that the area of a triangle is what? Half base times height. So we want to get this length, the length of the longer side. Let's call this L. Okay. So um, now we know the base from this formula. So let's find the height. So 96 is equal to half times 12 times height. So 2 here is 1, 2 here is 6. So we have uh, 96 is equal to 6 times H. Divide both sides by 6. So 6 is going to cancel out, and you have h is equal to 96 over 6. Now this is going to give us uh, um, 1. If you do 6 into 9, you're going to get 1. Then 6 into 36, you're going to get 6. Now this is going to be um, cm. Now, having established that this height is 16 meters, okay? This is 16 meters. So for us to find the length, we're going to employ... Pythagoras theory, which is 16 square plus 12 square is equal to L square. So um, when you do 16 square, you are going to get 256 plus 144, which will give us what? L square. Summing this up, 256 plus 144 is going to give us um, 400 is equal to L square. Therefore, our L is going to be square root of 400. Now, square root of 400 is going to give us um, that 20. So, our L is going to be 20 cm. So, the correct answer here is um, B. So, I'll mark my B. So, um, that will take us uh, to question 16. Now, question 16 says the figure PQRS uh, is a rectangle in which Line PQ is 16 cm, line QR is 10, X and Y are points on the rectangle. The line PX is equal to line Y, is equal to line YR, which is equal to 4 cm. What is the area of the shaded part? Now, in order to find the area of the shaded part, notice that this is a rectangle. You can see my rectangle, okay? So, um, area of rectangle p q s and r will be 16 times 10 and that will give us what 160 cm square so that's the first part now notice the unshaded parts are all right angle triangles so you can see them we have three triangles so um this is four and this is 16 now notice here qr is 10 and here it's also the same thing as 10 so from here to here will be what 10 so if here is 10 and here is 4 here is going to be 6 cm okay so here to here is 16 that means from here to here it's also 16 cm so that means if here is 4 that means this place is 12 cm now having established that let's find the areas of the unshaded triangle so the first one, we'll call it triangle area. We want to find the areas. Triangle PQX, which is this. It's equal to half times the base is 4 times the height, 16. 2 here is 1. 2 here is 2. This will give us 32 cm squared. Now, triangle um x y s will still be half times base which is um, 6 times height 12 2 year 1 is 3 this will give us 36 cm squared now the last triangle will be triangle p q r y which will be half times um, this will be 10 times 4 
2 here 1, 2 here is 2. This will be 10 times 2, which is 20 cm squared. Now, total sum of triangles, if you sum the three triangles up, their areas will be 2 plus 6 plus 0. This is going to give us 8. 3 plus 3 plus 2 will give us 8. So this is 8, 8 cm squared. So uh, total, this is total area of unshaded parts unshaded now to find the area of shaded area of shaded will be the area of rectangle minus the total area of the unshaded part you can see the area of the rectangle and you can see the unshaded part so this would be 160 minus 88 and that was going to give us uh, 72 cm squared final answer so the correct answer here is going to be B. So uh, we go to question 17. Now question 17 says, the area of one end of a cylindrical pipe is 8 cm squared. The pipe holds 4 meter cube of water. What is the length of the pipe? In order to solve this question, um. We are going to, okay, this is what our pipe looks like. Um, our pipe is this. This is exactly um, what the pipe looks like. So the area of this part is actually um, 8 cm squared. So the first thing we are going to do is to convert 8 cm squared to um, meter. We are going to convert it to meter squared. This is going to be 8 over... 100 times 100. Now this is going to give us, uh, we're going to move our decimal places into further. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to have 0 0.123. So 0 0.0008 meter squared. So um, having done that, so we now need to look at them. Um, remember the question says um, the area of one end of a cylindrical pipe. And it says the pipe holds 4 meter cube of water. Now, that's um, the volume of the pipe. Now, volume of cylinder is the same thing as pi r squared h. So, which will give us what? 4 meter cube. Now, notice it says the area of this part this area okay this particular area um the area holds um it's actually 8 cm squared so that means and if you recall area of a circle is what that's pi r squared so that means pi r squared is equal to what 8 cm squared uh, sorry, that we've converted, which is going to be 0 0.0008 meter square. So we are going to do replace uh, 0. pi r squared with that. So this is going to be 0 0.0008 uh, times h is equal to what? 4 meter cube. So remember, it's a meter now. So our h, it's now going to be 4 over 0 0.0008 now in order to divide this all you just need to do is multiply by um, the number of times you remove the decimal place so this is one two three four so I will multiply here by ten thousand and I will multiply here by ten thousand so this is going to give me uh, forty thousand divided by uh, this will be 1, 2, 3, and 4 by 8. So 8 here, it's 1. 8 into 40, it's going to give us 5, and we'll have 0, 0, 0. So our H is going to be 5,000 uh, meters. So the correct answer here is going to be a C.